Imagine jumping out of a helicopter, seeing what outfits look like before trying them on, or starring in your favorite video game. This new 3D photography technology is one step closer to making these visions a reality. Tech companies Futuro 3D and Mantis Vision unveiled Israel's very first 3D photo booth in Tel Aviv, and people were lining up to try it. A 3D camera contains also all the depth information, meaning that from the image itself you can get the measurements. If I capture you in 3D, I can get your height, your width, uh, the thickness of your uh, palm, everything is in the data and we can gather all the dimensions in a very high accuracy. So how does it work? 22 cameras and excellent lighting do most of the work. You fill out a form, select the type of image you want, step into the booth and within seconds you've created an accurate three-dimensional model. One of the options with this technology is to create a 3D sculpture of yourself, a miniature statue, if you will, and up to five people can come in at the same time and take a photo of themselves and create this kind of 3D model. But what makes this technology so different and revolutionary is that with Futuro 3D, you can actually create a 3D model of yourself that they then give to you, which you can then use in video games, online shopping, and many, many more things. Though the personalized sculptures are pricey, running anywhere from $60 to $600, the virtual model costs only $12, which means anyone can afford to make their very own avatar. If you will try to get your digital model, you will see that it's more difficult and it takes much more time. Now, we can capture a full video in 25, 30 FPS, and also do all the computation in real time. And this is a huge advantage compared to any other uh, technology in the market that needs sometimes hours or even days for creating a full 3D video, let's say, while we are targeting and doing it also in real time. The technology is already being used in the fields of robotics, shipping and surveillance. If we create a 3D database of suspected people and now we have a 3D camera that can capture you just moving, trying to go into these gates, you don't even need to stop. It's capture your face, capture your whole body. It's just the beginning of 3D photography, but it could soon become an everyday picture. From Tel Aviv, Maya Margit for the Media Line.